Good morning, everyone. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Manila, Philippines. Uh, we woke up this morning, went straight to the hotel buffet, breakfast buffet, which was is always excellent. Uh, and then we hung out for a little bit. We packed all our bags. I drank a couple cups of Illy coffee, which I'm addicted to. And now we are in a taxi on our way to the airport and we are flying to Boracay. Thank you very much. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, terminal 3, Jamaica. At the airport, we're hopefully going to meet up with Anton, uh, or either in the airport or in the airplane, and we're going with him to Boracay, and he's, he's uh, kind of organizing everything. We're just tagging along, and Boracay is an island, uh, a big resort and beach island, uh, about an hour away from Manila. That's where we'll be for the next two days, and then we'll be coming back to Manila. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, very have much. a great day. We arrived to the airport, Terminal 3 and we are gonna fly Cebu Pacific. Uh, but we got here a little bit early. Luckily the traffic wasn't too bad, but the traffic is so unpredictable and can be so horrible. There's quite a long line to get into the airport, just this initial security check. This line is taking quite a while, but I think I just spotted Anton. I think he just arrived over there. Oh no, he's behind, there he is right there. We got through the initial security, and now Ying is just at the service check-in. Now gonna proceed through security. We met up with Anton and his family, so we are all set to go now. I'm not sure exactly what's happened to our flight, but it's either been delayed or canceled or something, and so we're trying to wait in a line now. And Anton is over there taking care of it. It's not working exactly how we thought it would work out, but we are uh, we got on the next flight, which is good, and now we're gonna probably go sit somewhere, maybe have lunch, until we wait for our next flight, which is at 3 p.m. Uh, instead of at 11 a.m. There are not a whole lot of options of what to eat in the airport, but we've chosen to eat at Let's Chow. I decided to choose the chicken mummy, which looks like noodles and chicken and a few strands of vegetables. <laughs> looks like there's a piece of Oh yeah, actually there's a lot of chicken hiding below that surface of soup. There's some cabbage in here and then the noodles are down below there. Anton is vlogging this trip too. <laughs> actually this might need to be handheld instead of using the plastic silverware. Mm. It's pretty salty, and then I can taste maybe a little bit of sesame oil in there. Okay, for that first bite, I didn't see they had calamansi, um, and also chili, and also chopsticks, which will make it much easier to eat this full of noodles. Let me just squeeze in that calamansi. Looks like a, an oil, kind of roasted chili, maybe? All right, okay. Mm. That gives it more of a dry chili flavor. Uh, we finished with lunch and then we've just been sitting here in the waiting room for the last at least hour and a half or so. Uh, but Cebu Pacific has now given us a uh, little food compensation. So let's see what's inside of my little box bowl. That's quite a lot of rice to meat ratio. And it looks like some kind of fried something on top with some Dark sauce. I'm gonna go in for the piece of for a piece of the friedness. Oh, that's salty. Mm. I think that's chicken. Oh, it's very salty. It's <laughs> so bad. What? Um, <laughs> that's a little on the salty side. Um, not the fresh, freshest piece of fried chicken that I've ever had. You're definitely going to need to wash that down with some water. <laughs> it is 3 p.m. now. Our flight was supposed to leave, our new flight it was supposed to leave right now, but they've said that now it is delayed again. 
This airport is packed out. Lots, looks like lots of people have canceled flights and late flights. It's now about 4 p.m. and they finally called for our flight and it's pretty hectic in here, but I think that's our call. We had to take a little bus shuttle to the airplane and now we just got on the airplane and they are pumping some serious smoke or I don't know what that is into this airplane. This is a different flight than we were booked on previously uh, but we are on a flight to Boracay and it's also a different airport in Boracay but we are on our way now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready to depart for Calibo in command of the aircraft. This is Captain Aguirre, able assisted by First Officer Dimayuga. We have just landed in Boracay. We're going to wait for our bags now, grab our bags, and we're going to be staying at a hotel called Discovery Shores, which is the under the same branch of hotels as the first hotel that we stayed at in Manila, the Discovery Premea. Uh, so they have come to pick us up here at this airport and everything has been organized. Anton has hooked everything up. I wasn't fully sure of this before, but uh, Boracay is just a very small island right off the coast of the bigger island called Aklan. And so we were supposed to fly initially from, to, from Manila to Katiklan, which is the closest little city on Aklan, and then take a boat to Boracay Island. But instead we had to fly to Calibo, which is a little bit further away. And so we have to take a van to the coast, uh, to the nearest place, and then take a little boat, a very short boat ride to the island of Boracay. So that, we're in the van now, and this should take about an hour and a half in the van. just arrived in the van. I'm half asleep. Uh, took a nice nap on that van ride, but I think it took about an hour and a half, two hours. And we're now at the boat pier and we're gonna get on the boat. is going to take about seven minutes and even though it's dark and you can, I can't fully see the water I can just actually just see the from the reflection of how clear the water is thank you <laughs> so nice to see you here <laughs> and of course the hotel manager hi hi Mark how are you? Nice to meet you. We have arrived to the resort and we're just doing a little walkthrough and on the way to our room. We just got checked into our room at Discovery Shores and they have really, really gone the extra mile with service. All sorts of really personal features. So they printed off a sign over in the corner over there um, saying welcome home Ying and Mark. And then another really cool thing, which I'm pretty excited about, is that they printed a photo of Ying and I. There's a sofa and a chair over here. And then uh, the main bed is right in the middle of the room. Extremely spacious. And then right in the, right behind the bed is sort of a little, a little kitchen area uh, with all sorts of drinks. And again, a beautiful espresso maker. Oh. Ying, what are you eating? Ying, can I like have? Oh, Ying has, <laughs> Ying has already started, has already grabbed one of the mangoes they gave us and is slicing that. Nagin do I have? Okay, she's gonna cut a mango for me and then I'm gonna just show you the bathroom and then I'm gonna come back to eat that mango. <laughs> bathroom, I have not looked in the bathroom yet. Let's see. Oh, is that glass? Oh, that's glass. And. Oh, shower is here. Thank you, Ying. Mm. 
Oh, that's sweet. Walked around for a little while and now we are sitting down for dinner and they have prepared a table in the sand for all of us. All right, yeah, so excited. And, yeah. And then, oh yeah, we have a set menu, so we'll see what courses arrive. You ready? Yep. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, the first salad course, this one, let me just check on the menu, is prawn and mango salad. And then it says there is sweet chili dressing, marinated cucumber, and cilantro. Oh yeah, the prawns are sort of all kind of like wrapped up within this, and I don't know what that is. I'm gonna get everything in one bite. Mm, it's nice and chilled. I got like a sweet and sourness from that mango and then that real like all that prawn is extremely meaty. The next dish they just served us is lobster bisque and they said there's also some caviar in it. Oh that's so creamy and rich. Oh and a really like really wonderful lobster flavor with just a hint of bitter bitterness from that lobster. The main course has arrived, which is braised short ribs, and there are carrots below here, there are mashed potatoes, and it's drizzled in a dark, oh, oh, that is ridiculously tender. Oh, it doesn't even need a knife at all. Oh, that just slid off. Okay, I'm going in with the spoon instead. Oh, okay, and let me take some of those mashed potatoes. Those short ribs are just fall apart tender. Kind of like a barbecue pepper sauce and then mashed potatoes. I have not had mashed potatoes in a very long time. We're back from dinner now. That was extremely satisfying. Uh, it's been quite a long day and we sat at the airport for a lot longer than expected, but it's good to be here now. So I'm gonna end the vlog for today here. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I will see you tomorrow for the next video from Boracay.